Hey guys, it's Rich for Welsh Tech. Right, this is my review of the Ryzen 5600G. Now, this is an APU from Ryzen. Big thank you to them for sending this out. I do really appreciate my first ever AMD CPU review. Now, I've got a lot of benchmarks, so what we'll do is we'll get into them first.
So, as you saw from the benchmarks, the testing was fantastic. It's a very good CPU. What I will say though is the uh, the, the actual frequency went up to 4.5. I don't know if AMD has ever had this go up to 4.5, but in my testing it did while using the uh, Raging Tech Maya CPU cooler. It did reach up to 4.5. I have got screenshots to prove that if anyone wants to see them. Uh, this this is a very good CPU, sorry, APU. It's a fantastic price at the moment since New Ryzen has come out. Is it still worth it in 2022? If you're looking for a budget system that's just basically surf the web or do light gaming, it's great. You won't get anything better. The only thing I would say is if you're going to buy a dedicated GPU, I would disable the onboard graphics because otherwise, but then again, you could just buy 5600X. So, you know, but for the price, it's a brilliant CPU. I just saw in the gameplays from the onboard graphics, it did not do bad. And I was even surprised. My first time actually trying out the new Ryzen APUs. And I couldn't believe the performance, especially in Fortnite and in Battlefield 5. I could not believe it. It was no stuttering, there was no lag. It was brilliant. Even though the, all the game testings were tested on low settings, doesn't matter. This APU still smashed the games. So if you still want a 1080p monster, then buy this. If you do initially want to buy this though what i'd recommend is maybe dropping it down to 720p and then you could have at least 60 frames per second in certain games but that's up to you that's your you know personal choice but i will leave a link down below for you guys to check this out i'll make sure to put an amazon link as well as amd's website so if you need to know any other information about the cpu itself then that is where you go right so I would recommend this to any budget gamer, someone who's looking to get into gaming but not initially wanting to spend a lot of money. Now, I will leave a link. I'll leave all my social media down there. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my Discord so you can have... You'll see a little bit uh, behind the scenes as well as you can get the chat with me. So, yeah, this is Richard from Wildstack. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.